place up. Yeah, it ain't the storm we're here to rescue people from, Decaf. Yeah, I heard. So who did get left behind on Dino Island? Oscar, you have the list. Remind Decaf what we're doing here. He slept through another briefing. Search and rescue. Biogeneticist Dr. Laura Sorkin. Genetic engineer David Banks. Park veterinarian Jerry Harding and his daughter Jessica Harding. Also, an unidentified woman in need of medical. You mentioned a daughter? Yeah, I guess it was feed your daughter to work day or something. Good thing they sent me along to rescue her. Giant flesh-eating dinosaurs or Billy Yoder? I'm not sure which sounds safer. Bravo team, this is Alpha Dog. What's your ETA on the visitor center? Over. We're here, where are you? This place is a disaster area. There's no sign of the survivors. Over. We're just finishing our sweep. Heading to the LZ now. ETA, 10 minutes. Out. Whoa, whoa, decaf. Not so fast. Vargas said there was no one there. What's the hurry? Let's take in some island scenery for a while. Sorry, Yoder. You didn't buy the tour package. It's business in, business out. That's it. You're fired, decaf. Let Yoder take over. You're gonna fly? Ha! I saw your performance in flight school, buddy. I took out the co-pilot stick for a reason, you know. Listen, InGen wants us to get in, get the survivors, and get out. That's it. That's where you're wrong, decaf. See, InGen created these, uh, what do you call them? Hyper-intelligent dinosaurs. We need to establish contact with the Alpha Lizard and make sure they understand why we're here first. Oh, I get it now. I'm actually here to drop your two cavemen off. Makes perfect sense now. Oscar, me smell frightened baby in pilot seat. You eat. <laughs> Decaf, keep the engine running. Be ready to get us out of here. Roger. Oscar, it's Garza. But dinosaurs didn't take him down. It looks like he was shot to death. That's one big footprint. Man, those are some serious trank darts. Looks like the chopper was shot down trying to take off. Damn, Linaris. What were you shooting at? Didn't even go for cover. Billy, get up here. I don't know what... Get away from me, damn it! Get away! What the hell? Vargas. Decaf, we're going in. Watch your ass out there. Watch your six. Trust no one. What the hell happened to you guys? It's not my fault. We couldn't see them. Only their eyes. Come on out now, Vargas. What the hell? You ought to get back. I got this. I'll see if there's another way around. Quit screwing around, Vargas. Get out of the light! They'll see you!
master. Stand down. That's an order. I'm setting ducks here on the beach. We've got my shelter. What do you think you're doing, Vargas? I found some security monitors. I can use the security cams to spot them. Talk to me, Yoder. Where is he? I can't see Vargas. See if you can get him to move. I'll get him. Okay. Fire! I need your eyes, Yoder. I can't see Vargas. It's too dark. Where are you? In the trees? Show yourself! What the hell? Yoder, I'm blind out here. Check the monitors. Can you see anything? Right side, behind the rock thing. Yoda, where's Marcus? He's hiding. See if you can get him to move. Attack! They'll be back. Get away from me, damn it! Oh! Who are you? Get away from me! Oscar! Stand down! Holy! What the hell happened to him? Hey, hey, Vargas! Look at me! What the hell happened to you guys? They're everywhere. Even now, watching us. We gotta... We gotta... Oscar, we gotta find out what happened to Vargas. Get him some help. Forget it. He's lost. Security office. Maybe there's something on the tapes. Hang in there, Vargas. Hey, there's another security monitor over there. See if you can find anything on the videotapes. We should go. Ah, we can't just leave him like that, man. If we can find out what happened, maybe we can help him. All right, Bravo team couldn't have gotten here more than 30 minutes ago. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Nothing. Huh. Well, I guess this camera's been down for a while. See? What is that? Don't know. Take a look at this. Who the hell is that? I'm guessing those are the hidings. So that woman just ran off with our paycheck. Jeff, get that engine started. We're lifting off. Please, listen to me. Whoever you are, you have to take us back to the visitor center. You have no idea what you're getting into out here. I know my way. I just need you to keep us safe from these creatures. Oh, really? How am I supposed to do that? Electric fences are down, dinosaurs have free run of the island. None of us are safe here. Do you understand that? This is InGen Rescue Team Alpha trying to reach Dr. Jerry Harding. Obviously, the visitor center was compromised. If you're still out there, we're trying to... Dad, if there's a rescue team coming, maybe we should try to leave a trail for them or something. Jess, that's enough. If we want to keep out of the way of dangerous predators, I'm going to need to know where we're headed. Norte. North? To the coast, what for? Don't worry about it. Ugh. You're hurt. Let me help you. Dad, help me! We're going to rest here for a minute. 
if we're stopping, I'll need to make a fire. It'll keep the dinosaurs away. Fine. Stay where I can see you. Siéntate. Is there anything I can do? Stay close. That's a weird looking plant. Hey, don't wander off. Hey, Dad, are these berries edible? Probably not. It's best to steer clear of anything we find out here. Hey, Dad, there's some eggs over here. Any chance they could be dino eggs? Eggs? No. Remember, all the dinosaurs on the island are female? Still, just leave them alone. We have enough problems without an angry mama bird or lizard to deal with. Dad? There are some fresh dino tracks here. They're small, like a chicken's. Uh, it's likely Compsognathus. I saw lots of them while we were walking. It's relatively harmless. It's nothing to worry about. Are these berries edible? I'm hungry. That plant is poisonous. A handful of those berries is enough to kill a grown man. Oh, they look delicious. Maybe just a couple wouldn't hurt me. Yes. Back off some, okay? What? What? Nothing. Don't be stupid. Do you have any family? None of your business. I just thought that if you could understand how... You love your daughter, don't you? Uh Yes, of, of course. You'd do anything to make sure she grows up safe. Yeah, I would. Good. Then I know you'll do exactly as I say. And as long as you do that, I won't shoot her. I can tell by the way you talk to Jess. You, you have a daughter, don't you? Stop talking. Think of her, and you'll understand what I'm... I said shut up! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I... You know nothing about me. We are not simpatico, comprende? You say another word, and I will shoot you and leave you for the scavengers! Please, just calm down. I didn't mean anything by it. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I won't mention it again. Please. Hey, um, I, I drank like four diet sodas earlier, and I really have to pee, like, super bad. Go. Hurry. I think she's taking us up north. Okay, can you describe your location? Any buildings, roads, landmarks? Uh, landmarks. Uh, no, not really. Just regular jungle crap, like trees and dirt and stuff. Everything looks the same out here. Oh, but my dad built a fire? You might be able to see the smoke if- Yo! What do you think you're doing? Um, I'm just calling my boyfriend? It's Stupido! Please, this is my fault. 
I don't want to kill you, but I will do it in a heartbeat if I have to, comprende? What I have to lose is too important. Let's go. We're getting out of here. Oh, what happened? Is that them? Was that the Hardings? Yeah, it was the girl. It didn't sound good down there. The girl said they were headed north. Let's head that way and see what we can find. I don't know, Yoder. Maybe that girl was in shock, you know? I read a study Decaf, once that do said... me a favor and stop talking. Just head north. Hang on to your butt. This is it. See anything, Oscar? Looks familiar. How's that exactly? Before your time. No sign of them there. Did that girl say anything to you about a cliff? No, but she did say they were going north. They could have been heading for the coast. We got smoke. Smoke? Think they're trying to signal us? I thought we were dealing with a hostage situation. What was that? First, head this way. Or the chopper? Why the hell would they do that? Hang on! Take over for a while. many choices when flying through dinosaur infested airspace and we thank you for choosing Yoder Airways. Where are we? Out. Oh man. InGen's gonna be pissed when they get the bill for this. And yeah, then they should have gotten pterodactyl insurance. Pteranodon insurance. Huh? Can you fix it? Uh yeah. Give me about a month. You've got an hour. There's duct tape in the survival kit. These jungles seem different. Different from what? All jungles kind of look the same to me. Hey, you remember the... Hey, hold on. I thought I heard something. Maybe our survivors. Maybe. But we're still pretty far away from where you spotted the fire. And whatever it was, it's gone now. Let's move out. Smell smoke. Check it out. They're close. Come on. Hold up. It may not be safe. I know. That's what I have this for. Oscar, definitely signs of camp. The subjects were here. Just need to pick up their trail. Got some blood here. This just keeps getting better. No broken leaves, stems. If they came this way, they didn't leave a trace. Mm. Looks like someone was picking berries. Hope no one ate any. We got some fresh tracks here, Oscar. I'm guessing dinos. Oh boy. I'll bet that's not gonna go over well with Mom. Ah! 
Oscar, thank God. I thought I was a goner. I told you to be careful. What the hell is that thing, anyway? Whatever it is, I'm gonna kill it. Whoa, whoa, calm down, big guy. It's over, it's over. Let it go. Look at it. You won. It's not gonna hurt anyone now. Hey, thanks. Anyway, I looked everywhere. Couldn't find any sign of a trail. That way. You realize we're headed straight towards a cliff, don't you? There's no way down from here. We're gonna have to find another way around, which will take us, I don't know, at least a half a day. There's an old goat path that will take us down. What the? Oh, wow. How can you tell me about any rides like this, Dad? Well, none of the rides are ready for the public. I, I didn't want to get your hopes up. That path was ancient, carved into the stone. It survived storms, earthquakes. Look, it's, it's too late to go around, and it's too dangerous to go back the way we came. Just use the radio. Contact the rescue team. It is our best chance of survival. Down there. We can ride this contraption to get us down to that exit. We're gonna ride it? That lever. It looks like it would set the tracks to stop at that exit. Yes, but that's the emergency lever. Besides, it's obviously not ready for people to use. Well, it looks like the only way. You find us a safe way down, or I'll throw you down. If I can get the power on, I might be able to set the, the ride to maintenance mode from up here. What's maintenance mode? It'll switch the tracks, same as the emergency lever. Basically, it lets the employees use the tracks for work and repairs instead of for fun. But I don't see any cars on the main track, Dad. Get the power on. We're still going? Yeah, it's getting dark. We cannot go back the way we came, and it sounds like the dinosaurs are getting ready to hunt. Are they hunting us? Well, they're still a good ways off, but we shouldn't stick around here for long. Listen. If we're going to make it to the coast, we are going to have to work together to make it there alive. Understood? You, come with me. We're going to get some cars on the track. There. Stand by the lever. You're going to help me get the cars on the track. Hey, Dad. What are these cars for? They don't have any seats. My guess is those are utility carts. We gotta get them off the track and load in some cars we can actually sit in. Move the scaffolding. How am I supposed to do that? It's like way too heavy. That's how they pick cars. We need that scaffolding off the track. Yeah, uh, I don't think it's going anywhere unless you're way stronger than you look. Just push it. I can't. You push it. Hey, looks like the crane is functional. Good. Now do something useful with it. What are you doing? I'm trying to help. You keep that thing away from me. Okay, sorry. Judging by the layout of this place, I'd say the power station must be over in that area. Stay there. You go. 
Okay, so, like, what am I looking for? Power station. Look for doors. That looks like it. Open them up and throw the main switch. The doors are locked. Well, I don't have a key. That's cool. I'll just bust the windows. This should get me into those doors. Okay, I, I can reach inside, but what am I looking for? Jess, there are two large switches inside, but you probably won't be able to reach them like that. Jess, be careful. What are you doing with that hook? I've got a plan. You're gonna love this. Okay, Dad, your turn. Everyone get back. Awesome. Okay, that's one. like we have power. Oh, cool. Okay, come on back. What's that? I don't know. Predators. They're still too far away for me to tell which ones, thank goodness. Not a T-Rex though, right? Definitely not a T-Rex. Attach it to the scaffolding. We can use the crane to lift it off the tracks. Stand back, Jess. I can't fit any more cars on the track. I'll have to move some off first. Okay, these, these are the main controls for the roller coaster. I should be able to set it to maintenance mode from here. Well, that ought to do it. The ride should stop and let us out at the maintenance exit, instead of doing the normal loop. So, to get the ride started, we need three cars on the loading track in the right order. You stay there. Your daughter and I will get the cars back on the rails. Actually, I think that's right. Hey, the cars are all on the loading track. Now it's up to you. What are you gonna do if the rescue team shows up? What? 
I mean, they probably heard that noise. Let's not worry about the rescue team right now. Whoa. Well, that's it. Since the ride is in maintenance mode, it should be safe. It won't go very fast. Come on. The sooner we get to the coast, the sooner this will all be over. Hang on. This is gonna be a short trip. We go for the ride. Please, don't say ride. So what did you call those things that were chasing you? Hairy sauruses? Herrerasaurus from the Triassic era. Now that we've bred them, we can easily classify them as early theropod. Oh yeah, early theropod. That's exactly what I've been saying all these years. Right, Oscar? Where's Denny? Decaf! You take the chopper. I'll check the perimeter. Stay put. It's you 121, eh? I haven't seen one of these in a while. It's a real slob. Keep your mouth shut. Don't even think about it. Dandies. And it's jammed.
Oscar! I don't like what's going on here, man. Decaf's gun's jammed, there's a blood trail over there, and he never leaves his helmet on the ground. Never. Decaf is M.I.A. M.I.A. M.I.A.? No way, man. He was supposed to stay with the chopper. He's gotta be around here somewhere. Billy, you feel that? We've already lost Bravo team and, 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 and... Billy! Look, we are not leaving without decaf. I mean, we agreed, right? Oh, man, I will not let you turn this into Nicaragua all over again. At ease! We've got a situation here. Inside the chopper, now! Oscar, I've got no power! I'm on it. I gotta take the other one out of the chopper first. Try it now! That battery's not responding! Try another one! Did, did you see that, Oscar? I don't like when that happens! Pick up the pace! on it. Try it now. left? Dr. Sorkin and her assistant. Then we get the hell out of here. What about Decaf? Decaf's dead. I like your tattoos. Why don't you tell her what your tattoos mean? What do they mean? Gravestones are for the people who die beside him. The skulls are for the people who die because of him. Tell us, where are you gonna put Decaf's tombstone? You running out of room. What did you say? Hey, come on. It's been a long day and everyone's just a little tense. Let's keep it together, guys. I'm not afraid of you two. Me? Yeah, well, I'm more of a lover than a fighter. But Oscar... The last person who made ill-advised comments on Oscar's tattoos now eats his lunch through a straw sticking out of his neck. Don't be fooled. You're in the company of killers. You're no safer than you were in the jungle. Company of killers? Oh, that's got a nice ring to it. Yeah, it could be a hit single. Yeah, you're in the company of killers! Yeah! You need further proof that these men are crazy? This is what they do. They hurt people, and then they joke about it. Speaking of jokes, Oscar. Tell the one about the priest, the stripper, and the bucket of frogs. <laughs> Pay attention! This is how men act when they lack the courage to face themselves. No, I like to look at myself. I mean, 
check out this gorgeous face. Who wouldn't? I'm surprised you can see at all with your head stuck up your... That's enough! Oh, boy. What are you gonna do, kill me? You did that to me once already. You're crazy! I'm thinking of getting a butterfly tattoo. On my I'm ankle. I'm gonna carve the names of the people you killed into those skulls of yours. Ryan. Then we'll see hey. how proud you Listen, are. Listen, there's still more people who need our help. Whatever your issues are, you can work them out when we get to the mainland. And no, you cannot get a tattoo. Dr. Harding. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. After we lost contact, I was worried something had happened to you. We have had quite a day, Dr. Sorkin. I'll bet. Systems are down all over the damn park. Dinosaurs are running free. Bring the kids. Fun for all. Hey, don't worry, kid. We're fairly geographically cut off from the rest of the island out here. Nothing but herbivores around these parts. What's going on here? There were some complications. Who are you? Pleased to meet you, Dr. Sorkin. InGen hired us to get everyone off this island. I'm Billy Yoder, and this is- Look, let's just get this out of the way. I'm not going anywhere. This part of the island is pretty remote and is a long way from the predators. I'm perfectly safe, and I don't need saving. That's not a good idea, man. But, since you're here, what you can do is start loading the stacks of bureaucratic InGen paperwork that's taking up valuable space. They were supposed to have sent for that stuff months ago. Listen, lady. We don't have time for this. You either get in the helicopter peacefully, or I will personally knock you out, put you in cuffs, and throw you in! You lay one hand on me, and I will have you so ass-deep in litigation that you'll be reading legal text for a decade. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? If it'll help us get off this island faster, we'll move your boxes. Where are they? Over there, at the loading dock. You heard the lady. Hey, can I help? Sorry, hon. This ain't a job for little girls. Look how skinny you are, anyhow. Don't you drink milk? Oh, I thought you guys were a rescue team. But I guess you're just here for manual labor. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. We're highly trained soldiers for hire here. We're loading this stuff up as a courtesy. Do they teach you to live with your legs in mercenary school? Or do you bring a dolly with you on rescue missions? <laughs> ah, you're a smart-ass kid, aren't you? I also like football and hate shopping, but I still can't find a boyfriend. <laughs> Are you serious? What? I'm taking a break. Good idea. Don't want you to strain yourself. So what's the deal? Why didn't you tell Dr. Sarkin why it's so important to get off this island? Trust me. If we bully that one, she's gonna cause problems. So what do we do? Simple. Charmer. Look, all I need to do is get some information on this woman. Dig into her past. Find out what makes her tick. I'm sure if I say enough of the right things, she'll practically think getting off the island was her idea in the first place. Hey, can I bum one of those? Okay. So, who feels like carrying these boxes back to the helicopter? Me neither. Ugh, smells like a barrel of wet dog hair. I know, right? I don't get why dinosaurs eat that stuff. I'm not moving these things. They look like they weigh a ton. I think Dr. Sorkin said we're only supposed to move file boxes. Oh, yeah. Well, good. Wait here. I'm gonna go talk to Sorkin. Uh, what should I do? You wanna help? See if you can dig up anything interesting on our friend Dr. Sorkin in those file boxes. Cool. I can't tell you how many times I tried convincing him. The park should be a nature preserve. No theme park attractions, no cages. Hammond never really cared about the marvels I created for him. 
It's always been about the money. If you're in some kind of trouble with InGen, I might be able to help. I know people on the board of directors. You won't get anything out. Hey, you know who our prisoner is? Because no one else seems to. Well, I've never seen her on the island before. I don't recognize her as someone who works for InGen. But I don't know everyone, so it's possible. You know, Doc, I saw some bites like that at one of my men back at the visitor center. Mr. Call me Billy. Mr. Yoder, would you please tend to the InGen files like we discussed? Yes, ma'am. So how did you know to treat her with a tranquilizer? Unfortunately, this... So, what'd you find out? Looks like Dr. Sorkin wanted to turn this place into a dinosaur preserve instead of an amusement park. And InGen didn't go for it, huh? Why would they? There's no money in that. So Dr. Sorkin has a weakness for preserving wildlife. Good to know. Oh, that's a lot of rejected dino preserve proposals. Yep. You gotta hand it to the lady. She don't give up easy. Do you know, he actually told me it doesn't matter that we have dinosaurs from the Jurassic and Triassic ages living together, as long as it's exciting. Moron. I'm a decide. What about a patient? I'm fine. I hate to interrupt, ma'am, but I really think we need to be going. I'm afraid I can't, Mr. Yoder. Someone needs to tend to the dinosaurs during this disaster. I'm sorry, Dr. Sorkin, but InGen wants all survivors back on the mainland as soon as possible. No exceptions. Why can't it wait? Wouldn't this place be better off as some kind of dinosaur preserve? I mean, it's kind of stupid to treat these creatures like they're in some kind of circus, right? Huh. You have a point. But as long as John Hammond is in charge, the animals are gonna need me here to ensure that they're treated with respect. Listen, Hammond really made a mess of this place, you have no idea. There's no hiding his incompetence after this disaster. Well, obviously that's true. If you knew how I spent my youth, you'd be surprised to find me working in a place like this. Is there anything I can say to convince you to come with us? If there is, you haven't said it yet. Right. Why have I never seen this? I thought I knew it. How's your smoke? Hey, Oscar, was there any dirt on Dr. Sorkin in the mission briefing? If I'm gonna have to use the old Yoder charm, I'll need some intel. Big town protester in the 70s, lots of animal rights crap. Handful of arrests for it. All of her engine related history is classified. Said to expect her to be a pain in the ass. It said that? Between the lines. What was Hammond thinking? The man continually ignored the warnings of his own scientists over marketing people, shareholders, everyone. A disaster like this was inevitable. So that girl is your daughter? Yeah, my youngest. Dr. Sorkin. As I told you, I'm staying behind to watch after the animals. I'm sorry, but we really need to get you out of here. Why? Someone needs to speak to the board about protecting these dinosaurs. You believe in animal rights, don't you? Wouldn't you put your neck on the line for them? You're absolutely right, Mr. Yoder. But none of this matters if the board of directors... I'm not supposed to say this, but I heard the board is going to hold an emergency meeting about, you know, new leadership. If you were there, you could act as a witness to the events that took place here. They'd have to listen to you. That's true. I hate to admit it, Mr. Yoder. But perhaps you're right. And our orders also mention an assistant? David. Yes. I'm afraid David won't be coming back with us. He told him to stay away from the quarantine. Oh, Dr. Hence. Sorkin, I'm, I'm so sorry. Thank you. 
Now, before we go, I have some work in the lab that must be completed first. Dr. Harding, perhaps you and your daughter would like to assist me. I've been working on a cure for one of our dinosaurs' nastier genetic disorders. Oh? Which one? It's dietary. Right up your alley. Dr. Harding, we've done it. And what exactly have we done? Reverse the lysine contingency, of course. Wait, what? What's that? InGen, Henry Wu, added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of an amino acid called lysine. Without their weekly doses, they'll all die off. You cannot give that to the dinosaurs. They need to be contained. If any of them get off the island... Okay, listen. I've been working with the Parasaurs Behavioral Program for months now. If I go back to the mainland to fight for this place, they'll all be dead before I can get back, along with all of my research. Parasaurs? Parasaurolophus. They're herbivores, generally safe. Let me give the solution to them, to see if it even works. How many are we talking about? Why don't you come out with me? See how much progress we've made with them. Can we, Dad? Fine. We'll go. Cool. Glad to finally have you out here, Dr. Harding, despite the circumstances. We've been doing some very interesting work with our parasaurs, behavioral communication experiments. You've interpreted their calls? Some of them, and I plan to use that to get them out of the pen. Out? Well, I'm not going to treat their water with them still in there. How do we know there aren't any bad dinosaurs around? Trust me, sweetie. If there were any predators, we'd know. See that one? She's the lookout. She'll stand guard while the others graze. If there were any predators in the vicinity, she'd be nervous and emitting a danger call. But she's not. She's calm. Jerry, you can activate the speakers from there. Jess and I will set the various parasaur sounds that play through them. Dad, it's okay. I mean, it's safe, right? The Parasaurs will warn us of trouble before it gets close. Stay with Dr. Sorkin. What do we do? We can't just shoo the animals out, but we should be able to manipulate them into moving using their own sounds. Cool. These speakers on the west side of the pen can be set to play a parasaur food call that will attract the hungry dinos. The speakers on the east control the mating sounds that will attract the more uh, amorous dinosaur. What about the big set of speakers in the middle of the pen? Ah, those emit the danger call. The parasaurs will instinctively move away from it. So basically, we can herd the dinosaurs out of this pen using the speakers and their sounds. How do I turn on the speakers? I'll have to tell your dad to do it when we're ready. Dr. Harding? Yeah? I need you to activate the east side speakers, please. East side, okay. Dr. Harding? Yeah? Dr. Harding? Yeah? East side speakers again. Do you think they'll really turn this place into a nature preserve after this? Like Mr. Yoder said, that guy was lying through his teeth regarding the board. But it did give me a thought. This is a huge setback for InGen. Maybe Hammond's role as CEO isn't as safe as he thinks.
Dr. Harding? Yeah? West side speakers, please. Don't take this the wrong way, but isn't this kind of pointless? They're just gonna be eaten anyway, right? Some will, yes. But others will adapt, find places to inhabit, mate, and carry on the species. A much better fate than being massacred in this pen. But they can't mate. Dad said the dinosaurs on the island are all girls. Well, you can never be 100% sure about something like that. Dr. Harding? Yeah? West side speakers, please. So I heard you were like a hippie protester or something in the 70s. Where'd you hear that? From Yoder. The 70s were a tumultuous time. I fought for what I believed in, and sometimes it gets you arrested. You were arrested? And you still got a job as a, you know, scientist? Paleogeneticist. And yes, youth is the time to be reckless and test your boundaries. It's how you learn what's important to you. Dr. Harding? Yeah? East side speakers again. So, what happened to your assistant? Let's not talk about that right now. Well, did you work with him long? It doesn't matter. Oh. Listen, he was a wonderful young man. And I am sad. I really am. But if I let that stop my work, then all these animals will die too, trapped behind the walls that we built. You understand? Dr. Harding? Yeah? Activate the danger speakers. Good job, Jess. Finally! Go forth and multiply. <laughs> You'll be good at this. Maybe you'll be a behavioral scientist someday. Maybe I will. Aww. Ah, this is why she was elected to be the lookout. What's wrong with her foot? It's a broken toe. Feel free to have a look. I just have to do one more thing and then we can leave. Lysine. If the dinosaurs are to have a fighting chance, they'll need the solution to survive. I'm still not sure. Jerry, this is my life's work. These are basically my children. I'm not gonna let these creatures die because some bureaucrat can't stand losing control. They deserve their own lives. Just. Dr. Sorkin? Laura. Um, Laura, what's lysine? InGen, Henry Wu, added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of an amino acid called lysine. Without their weekly doses, they'll all die off. Don't tell my dad, but I got a D in chemistry. Then today should be very educational. The solution we were creating at the lab will reverse this scenario, allowing the animals to live out their natural lifespan. We just need to get it into the main water supply. Okay, that should be easy, right? This is a big responsibility, Jess. 
I can handle it, Dr. Sorkin. I mean, Laura. Okay, Jess, let's get started. I'm telling you, man, almost made me swear off Chinese food forever. Yeah, right. I've never seen you refuse an egg roll. Ever. I said almost. Besides, my date was hot. You remember? The girl with the blonde hair, uh, red scarf, uh, what, what was her name? I don't keep track. Oh, you remember her. She was the one that was wearing the... Hold on. You hear that? Chopper down right now, or I swear I will shoot you. Oh, that's real smart. If I'm going down, you're going down with me, sweetheart. Billy! Oscar, get over here. I'll pull you in. <sighs> Come on, man. That's it. Come on. One more. Tell that woman she's dead when I get in there. Come on, Oscar, put those giant friggin' arms to work. Get in here. One stubborn son of a... Hey! Uh. Uh. What the hell? No problem. You got this. Stop this thing! Now! Not gonna happen. Not so good. Is the water ready? Yep. Lysine is now officially a part of this nutritionally balanced dino breakfast. Excellent. Now I just need to get this water into the main supply and we'll be done. That's it, Jess. We did it. <sighs> Jess, come up here. I want you to see this. This is how nature intended these animals to exist. Wow. With all the running away I've been doing, I haven't had time to really appreciate them. Oh, girl, take it easy. What's wrong with that one? Oh, no. Raptors. Thank you! Oh, damn it, Austin! 
the old man still has a few good moves, huh? You are lucky to be alive, Jerry. I've never seen anyone outrun a Velociraptor before. Where did they come from? What are they doing out here? Must have escaped from the quarantine pen somehow. Raptors are highly intelligent. They'll find a way up here if we give them enough time. Yes! It's Yoder! Here! We're down here! Down here! Down here! 